The second restriction I want to explore is this notion of familial expectations. So really I'm talking about that, that um, you know, um, feeling this belief that you have to stay strong to your family and, and um, you know, Billy is torn between staying part of the family unit and following his passions. And, um, you know, there seems to be an expectation, it's an unspoken one, but there is an expectation that he, like every other um, person in the town, every other boy in the town, will follow in his own father's footsteps. And when you look at it, there is that progression in the film. You've got Billy, the young child, Tony, the older brother, who's entering adulthood, Jackie, the father, and I'm sure the grandfather, um, worked in the mines and his father would have worked in the mines so there is this strong tradition and just an unspoken assumption that Billy will follow in these footsteps um, because you know the, the notion is that um, to be a man you have to be the father and the provider for the family and you have to work hard and build on the Protestant work ethic and, and um, the film is really suggesting that there is no future and this is symbolised through the references to the mining strike and they've, that um, have got to the point in in this um, in this world where the the work has stopped it's drying up and and there seems to be no future so this is the catalyst for um, for um, Jackie to be able to to change his thinking and to question these these notions and I like this idea of following in the father's footsteps because it returns to this notion of feet as a motif and that um, the film is exploring that breaking free of tradition and we saw in the, the, um, the poster that his feet are off the ground there's a separation from the ground um, which, which reinforces that idea of emancipation of liberation, of freedom and, and it returns to that notion of flight so it's, it's being able to, um, to um, spread your wings and, you know, like separate yourself, have that separation from, from what's expected and, and to be able to move on and really excel. Another aspect of the family is the, her mother, um, sorry, his mother, um, and her death lingers, um, you know, it seems that she's left the family and that means that Billy can't. He feels responsible <clears throat> to um, to maintaining that family unit, and Doldry constructs this this idea of the impact of the mother through the motif of the piano, because the mother isn't you know she has these very nurturing qualities, and she was that that aspect of the family. She held the the family together emotionally, and her memory fills that void. They all miss her, but but it's not quite right, and they don't know how to deal with that, and. Later in the film, when Jackie destroys that pian the piano, what he's doing, he's doing it for a practical sense that he needs to um, burn it for firewood and have that physical need for warmth. But really, on a deeper level, he's setting Billy free. He's giving him that ability to separate himself emotionally from the from the um, the the family home and the family unit. When you think about it, um, piano, the piano really doesn't fit in in, in their household. It, it, is, um, it, it, it is really unique and it, it, um, it shows that it has such, um, such value, not in a mon monetary sense, but in, a, a, um, in an emotional uh, capacity. And so Jackie's um, his, his, um, experience here demonstrates the absolute sacrifice that he's making. You know, it's his last physical connection to his wife um, and a highly sentimental item, yet he's prepared to do that, to destroy it, to set his son free. So it is an interesting idea that, that um, once again, music is connected to emotion and it plays a really significant role in our lives. Um, and, and certainly the, the film utilises all sorts of ideas about music to to um, to break free of these familial expectations. So when we get to the evaluation stage again, we can look and say, well, the piano. When you think about it, the piano really is out of place in this setting, 
and it reveals that beauty can exist in dark places and that Billy is that legacy. He is the thing, the beauty that comes out of the dark place. So out of the holes of the mines basically emerges um, this, this amazing um, individual. And he is the beauty that emerges from working class Durham. So perhaps the message is that the working class Britain has much to offer the world and that um, rather than seeing it um, sort of just basically wind up and become extinct, that, that these places are very integral to society. And perhaps you can't, you can't understand beauty, grace and dignity unless you've really struggled. You haven't come from um, those positions of hardship. And Billy's ascension is so much brighter. It's, it's luminous uh, because he's overcome adversity. The third aspect to explore is this notion of dreams and reality. I suppose you could call that a theme. And the reality of Billy's world is that it restricts individuals from achieving their dreams. And the dominant narrative of the town is that working class kids have limited opportunities. You know, it is their destiny to, to grow up and enter the mines and, and just to, to repeat the, the cycle of, of the... Um, the the uh, you know the the life cycle of the 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 fathers before them, so Billy's experience invites readers to think that anything is possible that you should follow your dreams and your passions because um, you know you, you can break down those barriers and you can achieve your, your your goals and his youth and innocence enables him to to bypass those assumptions and those stereotypes and those social constructs and it enables him to dream. And I think that the early scenes of the film really explore that and they really demonstrate his, his, um, his, his love and his passion and we see those moments where he, he's absolutely lost in dance, he's lost in the moment and um, you know that's a, that's a wonderful place to be, that, that, that ultimate escape of, of the realities of life. And naturally that's the sort of mindset you'd love to have for, for your whole life rather than just being um, that of, of a child. You know, as you grow older you're, you're exposed to more and more in the world and that, that, um, that you know, innocence is, is evaporated. Now there's a really great um, point of view shot in the boxing ring and it creates good humour. Billy looks out across at the dancers um, and then turns around and then, then he's punched in the face. Great humour, but it also does reinforce those masculine stereotypes and that, that um, you know, it is, it is that social conditioning that if people like Billy go and dance, then, you know, if they, they partake in what's, what's perceived to be feminine um, activities, then he will be subject to bullying and victimisation marginalisation. What this point of view shot and others do though is it enables viewers to um, to see the world through Billy's eyes from his point of view, his perspective. And so we can understand his situation and we do understand his situation because we do live in a world that is full of gendered um, assumptions and stereotypes. We also get to it, you know, really appreciate um, and experience that in the in the moment moment, and um, I, I'm sure we've all experienced that in some endeavour. And you know we want to capture you want to capture that essence. And so <clears throat> the the composition of of the point of view scenes really does emphasise Billy's passion and his devotion, his discipline and the elegance that comes from it. And it, it sort of it is reshaping that argument about masculinity and saying that. It can be elegant and passionate and emotional. It doesn't have to be all uh, physical and muscular. So um, the construction of these scenes, um, the composition, is built in with the use of uplifting music, bright lighting, movement and often a white palette. And what that does is it, it shows this world of, uh, you know, the, of, of dreams, of, you know, of... Um, um, being able to pursue and, and achieve um, all those things that you you dream about, and and 
And so these scenes are in strong contrast to the, the drab reality of, of the town, of the life of the miners, um, you know, and where dance is so energetic and there's a lot of movement in the, in the shots displayed. The, um, the town is always very sedentary and it has been sedentary for decades. So just to conclude, these three ideas would form three really strong body paragraphs in your essay and you could build a great argument about the human experience about, uh, through, through those three things. And we'll just conclude by saying well, what is Billy Elliot about? It is about breaking down gender assumptions and expectations. It is about um, the family constraints and, and uh, expectations and it's about the power of dreams and, and being able to follow them. So through these you can explore how the film is constructed and draw some excellent evaluations which um, are going to uh, you know impact you'll be able to really uh, make some strong observations and evaluations about Billy's experience and apply them to your world.